Hello my crafty friends, it's Pamela from Gypsy Girl Crafts and I wanted to show you today uh, some little bags that I was inspired to make um, after seeing Jeannie Dreamer's video. <clears throat> Hi Jeannie. I just love her. She is so positive and so happy all the time and just is a wonderful crafter and I love watching her videos and I will link her channel down below so you can go on over and see the wonderful things that she makes but these are my little bags that I did the other day and they are just napkins um, that I have decoupaged um, onto fabric and made little bags so this piece is um, a linen hand towel that I picked up at an estate sale and I think it looks perfect on it it's just the exact right size and I'm gonna put I think a button here or a snap or something pretty um, and then I just stamped it and put paint around the edges just like Jeannie did and added some flowers and lace and they're just plain on the back I haven't done anything to the back side and then I made these two and they are a little bit smaller and they are just as lovely but I will caution you that um, if you are using the um, matte medium or Mod Podge to not get too close to the top here because it makes this really stiff they're still workable and, and usable but um, you just have to pull a little bit harder to get them to close because it's so stiff. But this one I just put some dangle lace on and some pearls and again stamps and flowers. And the same thing with this one. And this one kind of went on the back side which I think is kind of cool. I might try and do that on some of the others. But um, anyway, that one's cool. And then this one I had a tea dyed um, or coffee dyed canvas bag and I used that same Paris napkin because of the coloring I thought it went perfect with it and I just added some stamps and a couple pearls and a bow I may add something else I'm not sure yet I need to look at it for a little bit first and then the last one is this this one and I do have paint that went up here onto the top and very light Mod Podge or uh, matte medium so it it's easy to close it's not as stiff as as the rest of it or as the little blue bags but this is just one napkin and I just ripped the napkin around the edge of the image and then I painted around the sides and kind of tried to blend the paint into the the napkin and then just stamped it up and added some lace and some seam binding to close it and I just think they are so fun and the gals that I've been seeing do these say you know they're gonna send off their happy mail and things in them and I think that's a really great idea so I'm gonna copy that as well so I hope you try your hand at it it's super easy just make sure that you put something a piece of cardboard or something inside the bag and then on top of the cardboard between the cardboard and your fabric make sure you put some wax paper You'll have to watch Jeannie's video because she just cracked me up. She did this beautiful bag that was the first one she did and she forgot to put wax paper between them and the, the cardboard stuck to the inside of the bag. So, um, But it turned out beautiful and she was able to get the cardboard out or off the, the inside of the bag. But make sure you do that and just have fun with it. They're so fun to do. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.